This is not a kid-friendly show. <laughs> Yo, what's really good, my dudes? Today is October 3rd, 2016. We got a new RuneScape update for y'all. So this week is Customer Support Week, where Jagex is trying to add incentives to get people to secure their account more by rewarding those who have bank pins, authenticator, etc. To take part in this, visit the new NPC Count Check near the Birthorp Lodestone. Visiting him daily will reward you with XP lamps and clue scrolls. These clue scrolls reward the player with two caskets at the end, but the second casket can only be opened if you have both a bank pin and authenticator active. Don't worry if you miss a day, you will be able to get any other rewards you skipped out on next time you see him. If you also have a bank pin or authenticator, you will earn one additional treasure hunter key a day, so you'll get two additional keys if you have both. Those are some pretty decent incentives to get people to activate those things. I mean, some people argue that those can easily be bypassed if somebody really wanted to try, but it's still much better than having no security at all. And if anything, you could do it for the XP lamps, clue scrolls, and treasure hunter keys. And finally, if you have a bank pin on your account, you'll automatically be entered to win 12 months of membership for free. The winner will be announced next week, Thursday on the 13th. Moving on to this week's patch notes, we got some interesting stuff. First up, XP bought from the Elf City Waterfall Fishing Store will auto redeem on purchase and up to 1,000 lamps can be bought in one go. Soul Capes from the hard mode nomad fight can now be added to the cape rack in your player owned house. You can change the type of your family crest gauntlets on the fly with a right click option however the 25k convert price is still there. Adding a tool gizmo to an unused rod matic converts it to the used version with the newly added perks. I'm not sure the reason for this as I haven't done fish vention in months but maybe it has some use to you. And there's also now a manual convert option to object currencies like Takul. There were also several common fixes today. Apparently they've corrected the anti-safe spot mechanics that weren't working as intended and were punishing regular players. Hopefully it's an end to all that bullshit but I'll still say you want to be cautious if you currently are on a tello streak just to be safe. Who knows what may happen right now. The combat requirement for completing smoking kills has now been made a recommendation instead. Current and highest enrages are now displayed in the beast tab to bosses where it applies and current kill streaks and enrages show up on the tello's loot interface. Moving on the Arc mini quests are once again completable and the chimes earned from completing them will now go straight into the currency pouch. Destroying the progress hat will no longer swipe all your pizzazz points from the currency pouch and Rosie on Waiko once again has an option to buy all of the supplies with a confirmation prompt if you choose it. And you'll no longer miss out on gold castle wars tickets due to a full currency pouch if that's not the case. Finally there have been some fixes to the recent deathmatch minigame. The sign up board now has an option to view the rewards so you don't have to go to Mandarith in Edgeville. Multiway areas are now smaller and there's indicators telling you if you're in one. Deathmatch tiles now use a gray color instead of orange when activated, so on which I'm guessing is for better visibility. Deathmatch no longer considers your summoning level for matchmaking and the supply table now offers deathmatch versions of the Overload South and Superstore so you don't have to use up your own supply. Anyways, that's it for this week's update and this week's patch notes. Descriptions to those will both be down in the descriptions. Links to those will both be in the description below, my bad. And if you like the video, why not give it a like? And if you like me, why not subscribe? I'll be back next week for more RuneScape game update videos. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.